Welcome everybody, I've got some huge and much needed buffs for Valplume and Velossum uh, in the form of several different things that might not be immediately apparent to anybody who's just clicking on this video for the first time or any regular viewers. So as always, I will encourage you to check out the link in the description. There is a link to the very same Google Sheet that I'm sharing on screen right now, and you can check out all the buffs and changes for yourself. Most importantly, you can check out all 600 plus, plus uh, move buffs and changes as you see right here on screen. If you click this link, it'll take you right to this, this Google Sheet uh, document, and there's dozens and dozens of new move categories and all 600 plus moves. There's like less than 30 or 40 moves that are completely untouched, probably less than 30 if I have to guess. Um, I haven't done an exact count, but okay, now that wants to format mess up. But yeah, uh, very, very good buffs overall for uh, Valplume and Velossum. So Velossum is now dual typed. I'm not going to dwell on the logic for it too long because I think it fits well enough. Uh, upon revisiting older Pokemon, uh, I was actually pretty careful with making a lot of grass fairy types because there was like at least three potential like okay for example Tapabula was changed and then Florges and Comfey are both pure fairy with grass related abilities therefore there was actually only three grass fairy types Meganium, uh, Shaman and one more I'm blanking on it's not genetic that was changed as well but there's one more and I can't think of it right now but it doesn't matter too much all right the point is there's three of them uh and so I was like, all right, Blossom, you know, number four, I think it's, oh, Lilligant, I remember now, yeah, yeah, which I have to be careful with overlap there because Lilligant has Solar Rush, uh, and obviously, therefore, Blossom could not have Solar Rush, so I give Solar Power instead, but the main ability there is Drought with that Grass Fairy typing with much better stats overall. I did decrease HP a little bit because I do base HP more on size in this hack, and B uh, Blossom is super tiny, but they all have incredible moves um, of all different sorts, but... Valplume is incredible with Prankster. So Valplume's main ability is Prankster. Of course, Merciless is also very strong. Uh, not only do you have T-Spikes via TM, you also have stuff like Toxic and Poison Powder for early game. And Merciless will make you crit 100% of the time. So you can use moves like 140 base power Venice Shock and uh, Leaf Storm, which will be what well, Leaf Storm is 150 base power. So what you can do is you can spam Leaf Storm and Venice Shock and also cover moves like Earth Power and abuse uh, Merciless because your special attack drop won't matter with Leaf Storm. You even have Frenzy Plant, which is physical Leaf Storm at level 44, which is very early and actually makes some use of your decent base AD attack stat. You can also abuse that base AD attack stat with moves like Drain Punch and Power Up Punch and Shadow Punch and you know other decent physical moves like Player Up and Sucker Punch and other fun little gimmicky things. Of course, it depends on your IVs and your nature and your personal preferences, but you do have access to infinite EV training items, so uh, it's pretty easy to switch around your movesets. So for certain boss fights, physical Valplume actually wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Speaking of Valplume, it did lose uh, Chlorophyll, aka Solar Rush, or Solar Rush, aka Chlorophyll, because um, in this hack, I try to be very careful with making Pokemon overlap with one another, especially if they're the same type combination, uh, especially if they're, same, if they're the same type combination. So what I do is I plan them out accordingly. So Venusaur, is the only grass poison type in my opinion that makes sense to have any sun related abilities anyways because he's actually like you know his design and his the pokedex talks about the sun vile plume i don't know why the fuck they gave vile plume chlorophyll this pokemon's entire gimmick is that it's like not a flower that likes the sun it likes the moon it grows in the moon in fact the pokedex talks about oddish literally hiding from the sun that's actually why i removed solar beam and stuff which might seem a little bit pedantic and i kind of agree uh but it's like whatever uh i don't know i just they don't need it that much anyways, you know, there's other mons that can do that. Uh, but yeah, I just really don't like the idea of Valplume being, like, good in the sun. It does, you know, I, I think I still give it synthesis, right? Okay, so removing synthesis is, 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 is too much. Let me, let me put that back. <laughs> that's too much, because it is nice to have the reteachable healing move. Although you do have Prankster Strength Step, which is incredible, but that's later on in the game. That's just in time for stuff like Nanu, which is insane. Don't get it twisted. Prankster Strength Step is beautiful. Um, and it's not like, I would say that towards the end game, yeah, Merciless is a little bit harder to justify using, but for certain fights, again, there's always that usage case, case uh, because of how like strong that would be. For certain fights, you could still cheese Merciless uh, sets. Obviously, the Prankster is like the go-to ability for later in the game. It was very hard to think of an, uh, a secondary ability that fits Valplume that doesn't overlap with other Grass Poison types because there's a lot of them. So, yeah, I ended up settling on that. Uh, where the hell do I put this? Hold on. Yeah, removing that is a little bit excessive. I might also just put Slippy back on for the hell of it, honestly. Like, it's whatever. You know, where to Pokemon get that move. So I probably will just throw it back on there. Um, but I still stand by removing Obviously, I definitely stand by removing Chlorophyll, especially because Venusaur has it, and it's faster, and 
overall bulkier too, so it's just a better Pokemon for that in general. Um, can I go back up? Not that, I mean, especially Vaplume actually might be a little bit bulkier because of the higher base special defense. Uh, and also its physical defense is higher, but its HP is 15 points lower. So it's probably roughly equally as bulky as something like Venusaur is. Also, I messed up the aspect ratio. Not that it's perfect. It's never really that good. But yeah, uh, I think Prankster fits Vaplume pretty well. Merciless seems a little bit weird, but it, you know, it's this Pokemon that's related to poison and it's like kind of this meat. Like it's, it's hard to explain. I initially had Unaware, but I ended up giving that to Amoongus instead uh, because Amoongus didn't need as good abilities, while Wild Plume I felt like was pretty underwhelming. So Pranks are Merciless, much better, much improved over Unaware and Merciless uh, with that Prankster Strength Sap and a million other things like Sleep Powder, which is reworked. Sleep is reworked in this hack to uh, always last for uh, two turns. So what you can do is you can Sleep Powder with Prankster and then set up with Nasty Plot or something else or switch out with Prankster Parting Shot. Prankster Parting Shot in general is a great utility move. And then of course you have Prankster Healing moves like Strength Sap and earlier on you have Synthesis and Floral Healing. Flow healing for Melee Man Island is really nice, especially because Grassy Terrain TM is in the Verdant Cavern, so you can abuse that and heal two-thirds HP, and you also have Prankster Leech Seed and all these other great moves. So in general, Vaplum is a great utility Pokemon. Prankster Charm is huge, Befriend is huge, uh, both of those moves dropping attack and special attack by minus two, and in-game that's basically a permanent drop unless they have a crit move, which are pretty common, or they switch out with switch moves, which are also pretty common, but still, like, most of the time it's a permanent stat drop. You also have Prankster setup moves like Ingrain. Ingrain will give you plus one spit up and uh, special attack in exchange for lowering your speed stat by minus five, and it'll lock you on the field and heal you each turn. So Prankster Ingrain to live a special hit is pretty, uh, is pretty, I guess, cute. That's a cute little thing you can try to abuse. It's a little bit gimmicky, but Floral Guard with Prankster is a lot better. Floral, Floral Guard uh, is essentially Cosmic Power, so you have three PP on that. That is really good with Prankster because you can actually get that off before they can hit you because you are a pretty slow Pokemon. Um, you, have Prank, uh, you have Lunar Dance, which is really nice. Uh, that's essentially Calm Mind. It's, just, it's basically what Quiver Dance used to do. So it gives you special attack, special defense, and speed. And with two Lunar Dances and speed investment, you can actually outspeed a lot of stuff. So Lunar Dance is pretty damn great on Valplume and it has the bulk to abuse it. Uh, if you run like, for example, max HP, max defense, you can probably pretty easily get off two Lunar Dances in the middle of a fight. Probably not on the lead, probably not Set six owing the trainer, but you do have something Giga Drain, which will help with healing uh, and also doing damage at the same time. Lunar Dance is very, very fun and very worth using. Also, I messed up the levels here. That does not work. Hold on. Um, I'll fix it after the video, but I'll f it, the, move, the level like Seed Flare will still be at 55, and Strength Sap will hopefully still be at 48, or maybe even a little bit earlier. But yeah, it's not too much of a difference. As for Velocity, though, I'm probably not really touch talking about it too much because I just naturally don't like Velocity as much of, as a Pokemon. But it's very good. Um, being a non-fire type with Drought, it's very unique in that regard. I believe it might be the only one. Don't quote me on that. I know there's like. Heliolisk, who's, you know, electric ground with sweltering sun, but in terms of literally having just drought, it might be the only non-fire type with that ability. I'm too lazy to check right now. I don't want to derail this any more than I already have, but yeah, drought, very strong ability on Blossom. You get, you know, weather ball instantaneously. You get solar beam, which is 90 base power, and it always crits. Um, I also forgot to get floor cannon. Jesus, man. It's so hard going back and, like, checking your work. I, I have, like, PTSD, so checking your work is always really annoying. I always hated doing it, but... I'm kind of forcing myself too because a lot of the older Pokemon changes it needed a lot of touching up to match up with the older newer guys. But yeah, let me just throw a Floor Cannon at 49 as well, I guess. That's really cool, but it's my point with uh what was I talking about that made me think of crit moves? Solar Beam, yeah, Solar Beam will ignore these special attack drop from Floor Cannon. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let me add that as well. Uh Blossom Dance is beautiful on Oh yeah, let me give that to Voplum. What the hell am I doing, man? Is, yeah, this is hopefully people watch all the way through because otherwise they're not going to even see that they get these moves. But they, they will get these moves. So, yeah, Blossom Dance gives you plus two speed and plus one special attack and attack. So that's a really good setup move. Of course, setup moves in general are heavily nerfed in this hack and they're not as viable as you might think. You definitely won't be able to 6-0 trainers. Uh, another really important thing for Valplum, by the way, is that... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Black Sludge heals you by 12% HP now, which is huge alongside the, like Leech Seed and all this other stuff. So Valplum with like, it's such, it's so bulky with the Prankster, Frank Sap, Black Sludge, like it's Parting Shot. It's such a good Pokemon. I'm using Valplum any day of the week over Blossom. Not because it's better, because I wouldn't say it's objectively better. It depends on your personal preferences. The only time I would ever consider evolving into Blossom, uh, because of course I would be playing Team Locked, which limits your switching of Pokemon in a PC. If I happen to have a Pokemon that really wanted Sun, but honestly, you can just use Self Setting Sunny Day, which is the main reason I buffed the Heat Rock in general, so you don't need to drop Pokemon for Sun teams anymore. But it's still nice to have the instant, you know, Sun. Not like it's a bad thing. Uh, yeah, well, I have to do a lot of stuff actually. Let me get Blossom Dance, 
Blur Cannon, and then I also have to give Solar Beam. And send this is back. Bomb Blossom, 49. Blur Cannon, and then we're gonna go back and give Bob some sort of. Sorry, I should not be doing this live, but I'm 100% gonna forget if I don't, so I'm almost done anyways. Where's Solar Beam at? Just keep 20 something. 21, yeah. Uh, Solar Beam, and then there's one more synthesis. All right, the video's looping. So honestly, I feel like I've pretty much covered everything anyways. I mean, like I said, Blossom is great. Uh, solar Power, its speed stat is not the best, but you do have speed boosting options in Agility, Blossom Dance, late game, obviously very late game. Uh, enchantment is really cool on Blossom as well. That will give you plus one speed, plus two special attack, and special defense, so that's really strong. You have regular old Quiver Dance, which is uh, changed to only give special attack and speed, but that's not a bad thing. You have Z Purify, which gives you plus one to all your stats. You still get Strength Sap and all these other good moves. Uh, you have Growth, um, but you also have Nasty Fight right there, so... I kind of don't like Nasty Blood on Blossom, actually. I know it's like a mischievous little, like, freaking Pokemon like Togepi, Togepi get it. I don't know. I just don't really like that move on it. You have growth there, anyways. Not that, like, it's as good because growth um, is not reteachable while Nasty Blood is. But it's it's fine. You have a million setup moves on Blossom. I don't think it's going to be feeding for a plus two special attack move, anyways, especially because you're not that fast. So you're probably rather run, like, Scarf Solar Power. Like, you know, Sunmon, Choice Scarf, Switch, and. Sorry. Sunmon. Switch move into your Blossom, you know, Choice Scarf, Solar Power, or just any, I mean, you don't always need to outspeed things, you can also just take hits because you do a pretty good bulk, and you can just deal a lot of damage with Solar Power, plus Weather Ball and Earth Power, and all those other good coverage moves. Uh, speaking of, yes, Blossom gets that too, and sorry, Bobblum gets that too, and yeah, very straightforward overall. Um, great abilities, great new stats, as always, good move pool, very fun options. So yeah, that's really about it for them. I'm going to leave the video up there because this is getting above like 11 minutes at this point. Appreciate you listening, and I'll be back for more coming up. Peace, y'all.